I just can't wait for everything to get back together and the community to come back together. And the spirit is so important for that camp. And no matter, you know, what happens, the the things did happen. The buildings burnt down. It's devastating, but the spirit is still alive. And that's what truly makes the camp what it is. Sad moments for former campers and their parents after the iconic hole in the wall gang camp in Ashford goes up in flames. Lots of memories are being shared about what the camp meant to people, but now the community is rallying to make sure new memories can be made after the rebuild. Fox 61's Lauren Zenzi spoke to some former campers on how they felt when they heard the camp was on fire. I'm starting to receive numerous calls of a structure fire at that location. As black smoke filled the air, flames fully engulfed several beloved buildings at the Hole in the Wall gang camp in Ashford early Friday night. I felt really sad because that's where I grew up and had fun when I was there. And I have a lot of memories. Their wood shop, arts and crafts, cooking zone, and camp store buildings destroyed. All the memories that I made there are just burnt away. You know, it's devastating. It's uh, the buildings um, as they were uh, ceased to exist. They are burned completely to the ground. Hole in the wall gang camp is known as the place for children to forget about their illnesses and just be a kid. The hole in the wall gang camp serves over 20,000 families annually. And when the news broke about the devastating fires, we were just absolutely crushed and heartbroken. We were sick to our stomach. After speaking with several different families whose children visit the hole in the wall camp, it's obvious the devastation they're feeling, but they're confident that the camp and its mission will live on. And I know none of that is going to bend or break through this. I think it's all just going to make us come together even stronger. Daniela, an eight-year-old living with a life-threatening blood disorder, has been visiting the camp for years. Her family feels blessed to be able to call this camp their happy place. It's amazing because I get to be myself and it's just the best experience ever. For our son, he wasn't Jack with the brain tumor. He was just Jack when he was there. A feeling of comfort and safety. It's a place where you almost like forget the outside world. Families are so positively impacted by this camp. It means so much to their families to be able to send their children here to have a full normal experience. So when they heard about the devastating loss, they wanted to step in immediately. I will bring a shovel up to Route 44 right now to help clean up and I'll be the first in line. We will with a hammer to start rebuilding, painting, whatever needs to be done. You can rest assured. I think I can speak for all the camp families when we say that we will be first in line to help get this project going. I texted my son and I'm like, all right, I'm like, get ready. We're going to go. And you know, I mean, how can you not? They've done so much for so many people. A full investigation into the cause of the fire is underway. The Ashford Fire Marshal and the Connecticut State Police Fire and Explosion Investigation Unit are working around the clock to figure out exactly what caused this devastating loss. You can stay up to date on air, online, or using the Fox 61 News app. Lauren Zenzi, Fox 61 News.